So <clears throat> tonight I'm going to do a video um, about parts you can salvage off an old PC. Um, so normally I'm using the webcam. I, I, I've done a different setup. I've been having some issues with the lighting and everything else. Um, so I'm going to try this setup. I don't know how I'm going to do the camera and everything like that as of yet. Um, but for right now, tonight, this is what I'm going to do. So I have an old uh, Dell um, Inspiron. I was running Intel Core 2 Duo um, with Windows Vista. And it's just, it's just time to, yeah, let me show you. So, oh, here we go right here. So we're going to go over with kind of what we can salvage um, in this computer right here. So obviously, um, what we're going to do is we'll hold on to uh, this power cable. It can be used for a lot of times for monitors and everything else as well. So I'm going to hold on to the power cable. Uh, next, I'm going to remove this hard drive right here, which is going to come up. Excuse me. Come up, and then we're just going to... Now, I said to slide it out. Oh, it works. Sometimes it, it gives me a hard time. So, and this is a... Um, 750 gig, 7200 RPM um, Seagate uh, drive. So almost, almost a terabyte, which isn't 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 horrible. So um, you know, it's an older computer. So, but I mean, these, this hard drive is fine for storing. More than likely, a lot of these YouTube videos are just going to get stored um, on on here. So instead of going out and buying another terabyte drive or something, I have a hard drive right here that I can I can put in. And you know what, while I'm thinking about it, let me show you real quick. And I'll put the link to this below. Um, this here, um, if you have an old laptop, I have a three and a half inch hard drive in here um, out of an old laptop. And then I have another 750 gig that I back up photos and things like that on. I'm connected to my computer. But this is nice. You, you open this up. You just slide the hard drive in here. Uh, Use your connector right here. Let me just plug that in, and just you plug this into any USB drive, and you have, you know, you have a backup hard drive, a mobile hard drive you can take with you. Um, so it's a great way if you got an old laptop that's just slow, uh, or whatever you have going on with it, just completely get it, plug this in, erase it completely, format it, and you're you're good to go. So side note. So in addition to that, we're going to get. So our kit. Oh lord. Yeah, we're going to pull off the rest of our cables right here. Um, you know, you can always, always use the extra cables. Um, you know, I, I think they're, they're good to keep around. So any old computer, um, you can pull these off of. So I'm going to unhook, unhook these right here. Oop, that's coming off. That's fine. Now, the, uh, processor is like an E5300. It's... I mean, it's so old, it's not really going to be useful anymore. Um, so I'm probably not going to mess with that. Um, what I am going to pull out right here, and um, let's see, let's get in here a little bit. This right here is the RAM slots. This is DDR2. You push these two little tabs. Oh, good gracious. That thing popped right on out. These are going to be one gig sticks. So this is a one gig DDR2. Um, then I have another size in here. That's a whole complicated, well not complicated, there's a whole story about what, what happened with this computer and it was used for um, parts for another um, computer as well because I have another computer, actually the, the computer down here which is funny, it is a older gateway running the um, LGI, a little LGA 775 socket um, and I have a Q9550 uh, in there. Um, that still runs fine. I mean, this computer here still processes great. It's running 8 gigs of memory. But what I did was this did have um, two 2 gig sticks. And my other computer was running two 2 gig sticks and two 1 gig sticks. So, I mean, you can figure it out. I took it out so I can have 8 gigs. Um, so, I'm going to pop out all this DDR2. Now, more than likely, you're not going to be... Potentially, you could sell um, these... Let's say if somebody has one and they just want to install a couple extra RAMs, like maybe they only have four and um, they want to go to six and they have an older an older motherboard, then they could eat, you know, they could install this and they could run with it. Um, but you know, that's gonna be um, completely 
up to them. More than likely, I'm just going to hold on to it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, to be completely honest with you. Um, I think I'm just going to throw it in my parts kit, and I never know when I might come across something else or, or need it. So on this here, what you have is just a standard. Um, it's a fully wired, obviously, because it's a factory computer power supply. So I'm really not going to mess with anything from the power supply um, at all. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm also going to pull out, I'm going to have to loosen up some, well, on this one, I don't know if I actually need to, or not, I'm pretty sure I am. I'm going to open the case up a little bit more and I'm going to pull out the um, CD drive because that's still usable. That can I can still use this right here and, and uh, put this in another build because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a another build so inside here is a, a multi card reader in addition to that is the uh, I can get that open I'm about to pop it off but I'm gonna pull this out I'm gonna pull the multi card reader out um, there's an extra fan in here I'll, I'll, I'll pull it out just to just to have um, and I'm gonna pull the CPU out and I will look on eBay to see if anybody's buying them but probably not but you might be able to get Oh, I don't know. I might be able to get five or ten dollars for it, and at the end of the day, for five or ten bucks, it's not not great, but it's better than not getting anything for it. And outside of that, I, I don't foresee uh, foresee me taking anything else out of here. Okay, so I'm done with pulling everything out. I'll show you what I, I took out. Um, I showed you earlier both the the SATA cables uh, came out along with. A total of four sticks of RAM. There were one gig sticks each of DDR2, a card reader right here. I took out the CD ROM. In addition to that, the fan, the stock CPU cooler, along with the CPU. And the CPU is a I had it, oh, now look, my light's going to mess up. It is an Intel uh, E7400 Core 2 Duo. Uh, looks like it manufactured in 06. So this is an 11-year-old uh, processor right here. So I took that out as well. Don't know if I'll be able to reuse this. Um, probably not because the only reason I would ever use this is if this my other machine um that's running the Q9550 uh, uh, Intel quad processor that I have or to fail um, because I'm going to be building a new rig to do all my uh, video editing on but this Q9550 uh, processor is is still running absolutely great with it, with 8 gigs of RAM I have no issues with it at all even excuse me editing videos and stuff it's excuse me it's it's not bad at all um, the render times are a little bit longer on some of the H for the 1080p, but it's definitely manageable. So, what I have left, if you want to see, I have a Dell. <laughs> the cover, this is the front. I had to take this off. Um, and then here's what's left right here. Just uh, the empty shell, pretty much. Everything's been taken out. Um, I'm not going to take that motherboard out at all um, I'm just gonna leave everything as is I'm not gonna worry about anything else I'm just going to uh, don't know what I'm gonna do with this probably just trash it I'm gonna go with I'm not gonna get anything for this at all I guess I could be a real asshole and like set it out maybe someone go pick it up and they'll get it and see nothing's in it uh, but I'm not gonna do that this will just be uh, trashed and we will uh, go from there. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like I said, something simple, something quick about an old PC. You don't need it anymore. It's not running great. Uh, I'm not going to probably put Windows 10 and all that. I might. I didn't feel like dealing with it. I didn't need it. I don't want it. Um, I just wanted some stuff out of it because I'm going to use some of this for my new build, being the card reader along with the CD-ROM is going to go into the new build. Um, so that's going to save me. It's not going to save me a lot of money, I know, but it's going to save me a little bit. So that's my plan for right now. 
Thanks for watching. If you want to keep up, obviously hit that subscribe button down below. If you enjoyed the video, you got anything out of it, click the like button. Let me know. If you think I should have done something different or maybe I could have kept the computer up and running, put something new in it, let me know. Leave me a message in the comments below. One thing I love about YouTube and I love about my channel is you, you can always learn. You know, just because I make this video doesn't mean I'm all knowing by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, if you if you have a comment, leave it. Let me know so we can learn together about how to do things. Why I love the YouTube community. Thanks for watching, guys.